Let's look at how to create a dynamic dashboard. Before we do that though, let's review a couple key concepts that you need to know in order to set these up correctly. The first concept is that a dynamic dashboard leverages your current context. Right now, the context that I'm using here is my network. I'm looking at a view. If I changed my context over to the by office view, you can see that the summary dashboard is updating based on the context that I'm in. The second concept is that a dynamic dashboard is applied to a specific component. If I look at my dashboard configuration here, you can see that I've got a number of dashboards that are applied to views. I've also got a number of dashboards that are applied to devices. So that when I create a dashboard, if I go into the dashboard creation menu here, I'm looking at the dynamic type and I'm applying it to a specific component. These are key concepts that you need to know in order to build a dynamic dashboard. So let's go build one. I could actually use the summary dashboard that you see here as a base by going in and duplicating it and making changes to that. But I think in our example here, I'd like to go in and let's create a dashboard from scratch. We go into the dashboard configuration menu and we select create dashboard. Now I'm going to name this dashboard. I'm going to call this locations. And I'm going to pay attention to the dashboard type. I want to make sure that this is set to dynamic. And because this dashboard will apply to views, let's make sure that the view selection is done here. I'll set my user groups. Let's make sure the administrators have access to this. And select Done. I've now got an open canvas that I can add dashlets to. The first dashlet that I'm going to add is the incidents list. So I'm going to select the incidents dashlet. I'm going to keep all the existing standard filters. So I'll keep the default settings as they are here. Again, if you have any questions about the individual dashlets, just select the Help menu here, and this will take you to the Help Center. I'm going to keep the name. I'm going to make sure that the source for this dashlet is being taken from the dashboard. That means that the context for the dashboard is going to be used. And in this case, it would be in my network. I'm going to save this dashlet, and let's resize it. Let's go in and add another dashlet. And in our case here, let's use a map. So I'm going to add a map here. I'm going to keep all the default settings as they're shown. Make sure that the dashboard is set up as the source and select done. We'll resize this, use about half the width of the page, and that'll leave space for one more dashlet. What I'd like to do is have a dashlet that shows me the summary of the state of all the devices that I've got in my view. So I'm going to actually use the device status dashlet right here. Again, I can keep all the default settings, select done, and I've now got a brand new dashboard. I'm going to save this and let's preview it. Now, one of the nice things with the preview is I can actually change my context. So in here, I'm looking at the My Network view. If I want to test this against another context, I can just select another view. And you can see here that my dashboard is now updating according to the context that I'm in. We'll exit the preview. We've got it saved. If we select exit here and we go back into my normal dashboards, you can see in my list of dashboards, I've got a brand new locations dashboard. 